Hi booktube, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to tell you about the books that I read in September and October. So in September I finished off three books and in October four. So yeah, let's start with the first one and that is Nine Princesses in a Hamburg by uh, Vadjo Sonansny. This was a reread for me and I read this for maybe like 15 years or something like that ago and I did like it. Um, also some things, I did remember like basically everything in it, but there were some parts of this where I was like, oh, this happened in the first one, uh, because they are like, well, there are five that following uh, Corvin and then we have five that following another character, but I didn't remember that they happened in this first one. So yeah, that was a nice refresher and I probably will continue someday with the others, uh, I just don't know when. And just to tell you a little bit of what this, it is about, which I forgot to do. Um, this is a, following a man called Corvin who wakes up in a hospital and don't remember anything that includes his name. So he breaks out and then he finds someone who says she's his sister and then he meets his brother and then things starts getting weird and he finds out that he's one of several princes uh, and heir to the kingdom of Amber and their father has been pronounced missing or dead uh, so yeah I don't really want to say too much because it actually a lot actually happens in this one but yeah I did enjoy it uh, I did enjoy my reread and I will get to the other ones at some point uh, and I gave that uh, three and a half stars um, and it's pretty much bang on three and a half stars um, yeah because when i consider nostalgia it's definitely four but if i don't it's three stars the next book i finished was a buddy read and that was vicious by v schwab this is following a character who has just gotten out of prison and he's out for revenge and in this world there are extraordinaries who got special powers that they received when they died but then was brought back to life and it's a revenge story i did really like that this was a slower story i was prepared for it to be way more action-packed than it was and i liked it i liked the slow pace i liked the character build up yeah i really enjoyed it i can definitely see that this is not for people who want more um, expressive or action-packed books because this is not action packed. This takes place, like um, if we exclude the uh, flashbacks, this takes place in like a week. It's like no time at all, but I really liked it. And I found that obviously I have favorite characters. Uh, what's her name? Brain Freeze. Yeah, I had to look it up, but my favorite character's name is Sydney and Mitch and I'm really looking forward to seeing if they are part of the second book or not. When we body read this, we had an agreement that we didn't really root for any of them <laughs> because we thought both of them were like, like they were, you couldn't, like Victor Elliot or Eli. Mm, you didn't really feel like you could root for either one of them. Now, I have personally a problem with religious fanatics, so I had to go for Victor. But it was really like, who do you want to uh, root for? Neither, basically. But yeah, I did really like it, but I can definitely see why this is not up to an, an, everyone's cup of tea. And this one, now I did say that the other one got me in a half star because Nostalgia gave it four, but me reading it gave it more three. This one was bang on three and a half. 
usually I can argue with myself well is it closer to a 4 or closer to a 3 like is it 3.49 or 3.51 I couldn't do that for this one so I gave it four stars because I did really enjoy reading it but it also did let me down a bit because I was expecting like the way people talk about this duology or series I don't know if it's, there will be a third book or not I was expecting some bit more oomph which I didn't get but I did really like the slow pace and I did like the build up it yeah it didn't feel rushed well it was rushed but it didn't feel it's hard to explain but I really did enjoy this next I read a classic and that was Peter Pan by uh, C.M. Barry J.M. Barry sorry and this edition is illustrated by Mina Lima I really like the illustrations and I really want to get all of them they also have Beauty and the Beast they have Pinocchio I think and I definitely will get more in this edition because I absolutely loves it I'm just trying to see if I can yeah I just like the illustration I find yeah I like the illustration um and that was the sole reason why it got four stars otherwise it would definitely get three um yeah i did really like it and yeah it's one of those books that i think that if nothing else you have heard about the disney version of it i can definitely say that there were things in here that i was like oh right that was a thing there is however one part that I had an issue with. Now I remember now I when the first time I read this, I read the Swedish translation. Uh, so I was prepared for the um what's it called? Okay, so it's called scalps. <laughs> yes, I looked it up because I couldn't remember it. But I did remember that that was a part of this because it was in the Swedish. But there was one part in this that basically made me go wait what <laughs> really uh because i can guarantee you that was not part they, they omitted it from the <laughs> swedish translation and that is after a time he fell asleep peter and some unsteady steady fairies had to climb over him on their way home from an orgy so alcoholism and orgies great this got four stars as i said basically because of the illustrations but i did enjoy it but yeah so those were the three books that i finished in september for october the first one i finished was the adventure zone here there be goblins by clint griffin justin and travis McElroy, with art by carrie ph and this one following adventure with these three well brothers and father and then the brother is the DM that they are trying to find a friend to help a friend yeah uh, I did like how in the beginning uh, the objective changes from the beginning to the end which is common basically in all stories um, because the plot line also follows that again I have not played um, uh, any kind of role-playing games where you have a DM uh, but I have watched some on YouTube they are pretty funny uh, and sometimes it can completely just shift and it's always funny to see the DM's faces when that happens but yeah so this is a DM uh, D, D game or something similar and I really liked it and I would definitely recommend you checking it out uh, the art style is nice and it reads like a normal graphic novel the DM element was not too heavy um, or heavy at all I would almost say that I would have preferred it to be a little bit more part of the story but yeah I did still really like it and I think I gave it four stars what did I give it Yes, I gave it four stars. The next thing I finished was Yes, I'm Hot in This, The Hilarious Truth About Life in a Hijab 
by Huda Fami. This is a comic strips or comic square type thing. And yeah, I really liked it. I thought several things were really recognizable for me. I had friends when I went to, I actually don't know what, junior high? Could that be the uh, US equivalent? I don't know, uh, but like 12 to 15 or 16, something like that. Uh, I had uh, a couple of girls in my class that I was friends with. So I recognized some of uh, the situations, both me being the person <laughs> who asked um, and just in general. And also, do you have any idea how jealous you are of them when it's windy as fuck? And they just stand, stand there and smirk at you. Whatever. Um, so yeah, I thought they were funny. And a lot of things are relatable in general. Um, yeah, the art style is pretty simplistic. I knew what I was getting myself into. I like it. And I gave it three stars. And next we have my only library book amongst these. Which, yeah, that has not pretty much happened. We have Det överraskande julkortet by Annette Ahem uh, with and art by Sabine Straub. This is a German cutesy children book. I like it. I liked it. It was cute. And I like the art style. It's a children's book and I saw this at my library and was like, oh, let's just pick it up. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. I did like it and I would definitely recommend that you pick it up if you want some cutesy um, Christmassy picture books. And I gave that one three and a half stars. Then the last book that I finished in October was Nuke in the Moon by Vince Houghton. I will not say the entire subtitle right now. Um, this is a non-fiction book about intelligence plans or ideas that have been put forward in many cases they were like they were never implemented um, some were cancelled because they were too expensive but the main idea was that someone actually thought it was worth to try it out so it wasn't just like a mood uh, uh, a mood board kind of thing where it's like just say the first thing that you say no in several of these cases they spent millions of dollars on it on them so yeah i did think this was fun and i would definitely recommend you pick it up if you're interested in the subject uh, because i thought it was pretty fun and I, I would probably not recommend reading it the way i was kind of reading it because i wanted especially in the end i just went i want to finish something before the end of the month um because I do think that this one would be more, would be better if you did what I did in the beginning when I first picked this up, which is you read one chapter, put it down, and then when you feel like continuing, you pick it up again. But I will just try to finish it. But I still enjoyed it. I, write, I liked the way it was written. And I gave this three and a half stars. So yeah, those are the seven books that I finished in September and October. How was your reading those couple of months? Uh, tell, please tell me down below and I will see you next time. Bye.